welcome back to Music Box. My name is Georgia and this is the third episode in our short series. Now I bet you've all been sat down all week. So let's do something a little bit differently at the start of this one. Let's stand up and do a little bit of a warm up, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a body percussion rhythm today and we're gonna use some animal names to help us with that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna put a lion on our thighs and it's gonna go lion, okay? Let's give that a go, lion. The next animal we've got is a tiger and we're gonna put him on our belly, tiger. So that will go all together, lion, tiger, okay? And we're gonna sit a big elephant on our chests, elephant, okay? So all of that together, lion, tiger, elephant. And we're gonna put a big heavy rhinoceros on our shoulders, rhinoceros. Okay, so all that together is lion, tiger, elephant, rhinoceros. So that elephant and rhinoceros go quite quickly after each other. Elephant, rhinoceros. Then we've got rat. So we're gonna make a big rat nose with our hand. Rat. And that comes straight after rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, rat. So that all together is Lion, tiger, elephant, rhinoceros, rat. Then we're gonna make some little hippopotamus ears on our head. Hippopotamus, which comes straight after rat, hippopotamus. And the last one is snake. Nice one syllable one at the end there. Hippopotamus, snake. So that all together goes lion. Tiger, elephant, rhinoceros, rat, hippopotamus, snake. Fabulous, really well done. Okay, so let's take all of those animals, the lion, the tiger, the elephant, the rhinoceros, the rat, hippopotamus, and snake, and put them all in our thinking voices. So we're not gonna say them, we're just gonna do the actions. So keep those in your thinking voices as you go. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Fabulous, really well done. Well done, everybody. Good thinking and good watching. Let's have a seat, shall we? Right, now we've warmed up our bodies, let's warm up our voices, shall we? So for those of you who've been here before, you know we've already learnt do and so for our songs. Well, we're gonna learn one more note this week. Um, but before we do that, I wonder if you can guess which song I'm signing without using my voice at all. Let's see if you can see it. Can you guess it yet? Yes, it's Sydney the Spider from episode one. Well done. Did anybody see that? Anyway, so we're going to learn a third note this week, which is in the middle of do and so. So we've got do and so, and our new note is me. It's right in the middle and it's a nice flat hand here. So sing with me. Do, me, so, me, do. Very good, lovely voices, well done. So we're gonna learn a song with So and Me and a song with Do and Me. The first song, we're just gonna sing in So's and Me's to start with, and then I'll give you the three verses. And it goes like this. So, so, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, me, so, so, me. Okay, do you wanna try that with me? Ready? Send your voices up to So and three, Four. So, so me, so, so me, so, so me, me, so, so me. Well done, really nice singing. And these are the verses, there are three of them, and they go like this. Kangaroo stole my shoe, he ran off to Timbuktu. Billy 
goat stole my coat, ran off in a yellow boat. Bumblebee stole my cheese, flew off in the morning breeze. All right, so those are our silly little verses. I'd love you to come up with a fourth verse. So to do that, you're going to need the person who stole something, what they stole, and how they got away with it. So I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, just put them in the links below. Okay, so the next song we're gonna learn is just using me and do, and it goes like this. We're gonna need our hands for this one. Ding dong, I've got the rhythm in my head. Hot dog, I've got the rhythm in my head. Ding dong, I've got the rhythm in my head. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, hot dog. Okay, so it's a little bit of a fast paced one, this one. So get your hands at the ready. So ding dong and hot dog. I've got the rhythm in my head. Those are the only words we need. Right, ready? And one, two, three, four. Ding dong, I've got the rhythm in my head. Hot dog, I've got the rhythm in my head. Ding dong, I've got the rhythm in my head. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, hot dog. Fabulous, well done. See if you can catch yourself or other people out this week by missing out either hot dog, hot dog, sorry, <laughs> or ding dong. All right, nice singing, well done. So today our brand new harpist Catherine is going to play for us and she's gonna play a piece called Fire Dance by David Watkins, which is all inspired by Paraguayan harp music traditions. The harp is actually the national instrument of Paraguay and they play it really interestingly with their fingernails on the strings. So it sounds kind of metallic and percussive. It's really beautiful. So while you're listening to the music this week, we've got a couple of things you can do. Firstly, if you enjoyed the activity on our feet at the start of this episode, you might like to create a dance to go along with this fire dance while you're listening to it. Or if you prefer, you could get your favorite coloring pencils out and draw some of the different special sounds that we're hearing in this music. And we've got a couple of ways you can do that in the worksheets below. Have a really close look to see at the different special sounds that Catherine's making with her harp this week and enjoy the vibrant excitement of it. again for joining me. Wasn't that lovely? Did you do some dancing? I did a little bit of dancing in my chair. 
So I heard a couple of uh, different kinds of music in that. I heard a little bit of sparkly music. I heard a bit of climbing music. And I heard a little bit of shooting star music as well. Did you spot any that I didn't get? If you did, I'd love to see all of the different drawings you do, so please send it in. You can find out how to do that in the description below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the CBSU YouTube channel so you won't ever miss an episode of Music Box. Anyway, stay safe and see you next time.